global warming. Now, as far as I know, you haven't written at length about the science of climate change, but you have written this, and I'm quoting here from a post you put up on Ricochet this past summer, quote, global warming, who knows? Not me for sure. But what I do know is that climate science is and has been in the hands of intellectual mediocrities and pious charlatans, close quote. For sure, for sure. Not everyone. My, my buddy Dick Linson at MIT, who was a tremendous skeptic about global warming, is not uh, a pious charlatan. But anyone who read those emails from East Anglia. Who, the leaked emails. Yeah, the leaked emails. And after you stopped chortling and really paid attention to what they're saying, their entire scientific position is, well, we've got a very weak theory. It's supported by so much gibberish in the computer record. Let's just hide that from criticism and uh, suppress those people who don't agree with us. That is the public posture on global warming. Now, that's changed. Mm -hmm. It has changed. There's a lot more subtlety in the issue now. And even the people who are most alarmed are willing to admit, well, you know, 15 years it hasn't been much warming at all. In fact, there's been no warming. Maybe we should factor that in into our self-congratulation. That's a good thing. But the real issue is that glo global warming is an imponderable. Global warming may be increasing to uh, dramatic and harmful extents, but we don't know that. The science isn't clear enough.